Boker Tov, good morning. Today is Friday, September 2nd, Erev Shabbat, <coughs> Parashat Shoftim. Nestled uh, in between a discussion about prohibited divination and the role of the prophet amongst the Jews is a simple pasuk about simplicity. Moshe says, Tamim tihiyeh im Adonai Elohecha. You should be simple with God your Lord. It's such a hard word to really translate, right? What, what is the simplicity that we're talking about? We talk about the, the, um, the simple sun on, uh, uh, and, and at the Seder, yes. Is that, but is, is a person who has a really, um, you know, really not a sharp thinker, we, we talked, we can, we'll go back to that, uh, that Torah another time. Is that what God means here? Or is it the, a, a, a capacity, a capacity to accept certain things, which is ultimately about simple faith? It requires a sophistication to have it, or maybe it doesn't. As I said, this is nestled between two other verses, two other discussions. The first is a, a list of things which are um, abominable acts, abominations that are carried out by the, the inhabitants that, of, of the land which we are going to be inheriting. Um, and, and it involves nothing other than the way people attempt to read the future. A whole list of things that are there. Ramban actually distinguishes between some and the other and seemingly does not call them abominations. The, the, the attempt to just know the future, the simple acts of nichush, as it were, of, of, of divining, they're not, they are understandable that people want to know the future, but it has to do more about the manipulation. And so Ramban has a, a lot there about what he believes actually works. Um, and um, as he actually reads this, the, the flow of the Torah, skipping this pasuk for the moment, right? Um, God says the rest of the, the nations are, don't have access to the future other than to, to try to read the stars and read the other things as well. But you, lo chain, I haven't given it, this to you, I've given you prophets. So they can tell you the future, the prophets will tell you what God wants and what's gonna happen. So you have a, a direct channel. You don't have to go through these secondary means, which Ramban says do work when you want to know the future. And it's here that Rashi quotes a sifrei from Re'ei, which I think is a, is, a, is a different statement, a very different statement. And nestled between these two discussions, Rashi uh, says this pasuk has a very specific message to us. Tamim tihyeh im Hashem elokecha, hitalei bitmimut, you should walk with God, again this phrase, with um, a degree of, of, of religious simplicity. The, and I would argue it means um, about, as it's about letting go. It's about letting go. But to lo, you should look towards God. You shouldn't be um, digging around and, tr and, and trying to investigate what the future will bring, all the future things. Ella, rather, call mashi avo alecha kabel bitmimut, rather, whatever um, transpires, whatever that's gonna come upon you, just receive it, again, that phrase, bitmimut, with a degree of spiritual ease. It's not naivete, it's actually quite sophisticated. Then you'll be with God and part of his portion. What, what, what do we have here? I think that the, the upshot of this sifre that Rashi quotes is the assertion that uh, you can spend your life worried about the next or the future, the things that are actually not in your hands. They're not um, things that you are... Uh, are able to bring about necessarily. There are all the things that are beyond your act, your, your, your capacity, and you're worried about them. So, um, well, one way, one way to resolve the worry and the anxiety about that is to look for surety, look for certainty. And as the belief uh, that you'll have is that without the certainty, I can't handle this. It's a Torah that I've taught 
um, earlier this year to the shul that I've learned from, from Susie in her anxiety work, that anxious voice that tells you that I, that I, I, I need certainty, and if I don't have certainty, I can't handle it. Um, I think this Midrash, in effect, is telling us, stop. Stop. Firstly, uh, there are things that are beyond you. They are beyond you. So now what? Are you going to convince yourself that um, and, 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 and twist yourself into knots about um, all the things that could befall you that maybe, that maybe will befall everybody? Um, or, or are you going to act differently? Now, of course, what we do is if, if, if there are dangers ahead, so we have to prepare and, and, and work on, on what we do in our lives, both, um, both beyond you know, the, the actions that we take and the people that we are, that's all that we should be focused on. That's all that we should be focused on. Our question shouldn't be, oi, what will be the future? But rather, what am I supposed to do about things? What am I supposed to do that hopefully will, will lead to the right outcomes in the future? Um, but but it's, this, it shifts from just the anxious mind worried about those things which are, which are again, not in our control to, to focusing on what is in our control and to do them. And, to, uh, and, and part of that or the essence of that is to lead the right life which lays out in a lot of different ways. And then not to, not to, to, to then otherwise live with an endless worry, what will the future be? I must find out the future. You know what? If you're a ma'amin, if you believe, then you have to believe on the one hand, God doesn't want bad for people who are trying to lead the right life. In that sense, you're being a tamim im Hashem alokecha. You're being... Um, simple in your faith with God and beyond that to say that I can either then be, be, be anxious and worried and uh, an unknowing all alone or I can do it with the companionship of the Almighty I will I have those choices and if you if you work if you remind yourself of things that you believe about and, and the fact that God is then you remind yourself that um, that you're not alone in this world. You have lots of questions, lots and lots of questions of the Almighty. But uh, it's much harder to go life without God than with God. Tamim tiyeh im Hashem alokecha. Let's let's take that to heart. Own what we own. Let go of what we can't. And to uh, to to live our lives, the right lives with God at our side. What an important message as we work towards the days of awe ahead. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom.